make sure to stay until the end it could be something completely different that most people never think about that guys and if you don't do it right you may just waste your money hey guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a dot challenger if you need to locate remove or replace camshaft position actuator to bank to stabilizer will explain where it's located if you have problem with that it may not be the uh, camshaft actuator causing that problem so make sure you stand till the end we'll explain what uh, simply could be causing that problem that way you don't waste your time and money as well so let's go ahead and explain that today so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage guys we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can oh we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video uh, if you need to buy any parts tools for your dot challenger or any car you want to save quite a bit of money get them at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's start on it now Right here guys, we have a 2018 Dodge Challenger, but even if you have a different year, it will work as well, as long as you have the 3.6 engine. If you have a V8 with camshaft actuators, it will be very similar as well. This is the top of the engine. The only thing that we need, that we have removed right here, is the intake hose, and that's pretty simple. You just unscrew that uh, clamp here, that there, remove the uh, 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 sensor for the intake air temperature sensor and you come right here the engine is a v engine that's a v6 that's cylinder head number one cylinder head number two also known as bank one or bank two the engine computer which is located right there actually treats these two cylinder heads like two separate engines and we need to find bank two so when we come right here this is bank two sensor two guys what is sensor two sensor one is always on the intake side and if you look right here that's where your uh, fuel injectors and intake manifold is located that's where the car gets its air and fuel from so that's right here guys okay uh camshaft actuator one bank two and this is camshaft actuator two bank two because this is for the exhaust side now we'll show you how to remove it okay right here on the back you press down and never pull for the wires itself okay because you can damage them we will explain what can easily cause problems with that actuator and how in most cases it may not be the actuator so make sure you stand till the end we'll be using the torx 25 star looking b and we'll remove four screws quickly uh, three screws excuse me quickly and after that we'll be able to continue with the next step that's great okay be prepared to leak some oil out most likely the seal will come out as well uh, and always in a, uh, I would recommend to replace all seals because you can see even this one at only 41,000 miles it started already sipping a little bit of oil make sure you don't contaminate the inside of the engine you don't drop anything now the seal will be stuck to the actuator so you remove it and when you get the new seal you just place it right there okay like that you can see this is camshaft actuator 2 bank 2 uh, that one practically okay you can see how it goes in and out it will uh, push here it will activate the variable timing camshaft sprocket it will change the oil passages and all that stuff so it can advance or retard the timing but often guys it may not be that uh, sensor that's causing the problem we have a video how to test it and if you need to buy one they're cheap i'll put the link in the description of the video below but it could be guys okay dirty engine oil low on oil uh, oil filter that's plugged up or not functioning correctly or not having the uh, right type of engine oil always use the right type of engine oil uh, i will recommend leaky moly it's amazing oil guys it's amazing oil and uh, now this is where the magic happens okay that's leaky moly engine flush I never believed in additives until I used that thing. Okay, we made a video 
Does Leaky Molly Engine Flash work on Porsche Cayenne with 190,000 miles? And once we open the engine, it look almost like new guys. So if you, when we've said multiple BMWs where they have the uh, complicated variable timing systems, and uh, when you use that uh, engine flush, it can remove uh, uh, build up, oil deposits, carbon build up, and clean, clean all those oil passages and later put fresh oil and that might fix your problem because if you have problem related to that camshaft actuator and you replace the actuator you still get the code try engine flush engine oil change because otherwise you have to replace the variable timing camshaft sprocket and that thing guys okay you have to take the whole engine apart timing chain and that's a really really tough job but we'll have it on the channel if you need to hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time